Previously on the story, we saw how Liao Kexin confided in Li Shulai, explaining how her parents had asked her to drop out of school and become a full-time nanny for her younger brother. Faced with this difficult decision, Liao Kexin's future seemed uncertain. Up next, Li Shulai told Liao Kexin, Anyway, after your parents come next week, we'll wait and see what happens. Liao Kexin nodded in agreement. Meanwhile, Xiaoning stood watching them, her anger building as they laughed and chatted with each other. It's that girl again, she thought furiously. This is the second time already. Could he actually be in love with her? As people around them talked and laughed, Xiaoning approached, her frustration rising. She shouted loudly, Li Xiulai, come here! If this weren't a task assigned by my grandpa, I wouldn't even bother with him, she thought bitterly. Upon seeing Xiaoning, Liao Kexin smiled and said to Li Xiulai, it seems like she's your classmate. She probably has something to discuss with you. You guys go ahead and I'll catch up with you later. Li Xiulai smiled back and assured her, I'll meet you again soon. Watching this, Xiaoning fumed, you won't be smiling when you see me. Am I that ugly? When she got close enough, she snapped at Li Xiulai. They've all gone far away now. What are you still looking at? Without waiting for a response, she added, My grandpa asked me to take you to practice. As they headed towards the pavilion house, Xiao Ning sat with Li Xiulai, feeling conflicted. Ma Xiao Ning, hold it in. What exactly are you trying to ask? She thought nervously. Finally, she turned to Li Xiulai, and with a hint of hesitation asked, You seem to have a good relationship with that girl. Is she your girlfriend? Li Xiulai laughed at the question, which only made Xiao Ning more annoyed. What are you laughing at? She demanded. Li Xiulai leaned in closer to her, causing Xiao Ning to blush. Nervously, she asked in a gentle voice, What are you doing? With a teasing smile, Li Xiulai replied, What do you think I'm doing? Blushing even harder, Xiao Ning stammered, You wouldn't be mad and try to rob me, right? I didn't say anything wrong. Li Xiulai smirked and asked playfully, Are you interested in me? Otherwise, why would you care who's talking to me? Xiao Ning pushed him back and shouted, Of course not. You were obviously pursuing me before, but now you're not, so I'm just curious. Don't deny it. Everyone in class noticed. Li Xiulai chuckled and replied, It's true. I really liked you back then, but now I don't like you anymore. He playfully tapped her on the head and added, Now I'm your master's apprentice, so we're of different generations. You'll have to call me uncle. I'm not interested in any uncle-niece relationships. Xiao Ning stood there, stunned. The same man who used to go out of his way to meet me is now saying he doesn't like me anymore? She thought. How is that even possible? He used to follow me everywhere, and now he claims he doesn't care. Upon seeing Xiao Ning so downcast, Li Xiulai thought to himself, In the past, whenever we discussed seniority, she'd be all fired up. Why is she so quiet this time? Disappointed and sad, Xiao Ning asked, Why don't you like me anymore? Is it because of Liao Kexin? It seems like she's really your girlfriend. Li Xiulai replied, Liao Kexin is indeed my goddess, my spiritual mentor, but she's not my girlfriend. I'm not worthy of her. Surprised, Xiao Ning asked, Aren't the so-called confidants of you guys always... Before she could finish, Li Xiulai interrupted, That's enough. Liking Ma Xiao Ning was something that happened more than ten years ago, he thought. Before my rebirth, I was a bootlicker who lost everything and got cheated by others. But now, I don't have time for broken love or absolute love. I have to focus on my career. Xiao Ning, recalling his words from the cafeteria, remembered when Li Xiulai had told her, You should think about more serious things. She had never expected him to be serious. I thought those were just excuses. Maybe I'm the one who's no longer worthy of him now. He feels so distant, she mused. Sometime later, the two of them reached Qingyun Temple, where Xiao Ning's grandmother, Lin Shuhuan, was cultivating. Lin Shuhuan told them to wait, and they nodded in agreement. After a moment, when Lin Shuhuan completed her cultivation, she slowly opened her eyes and was stunned. Li Xiulai's true energy has become so much more powerful than before, she thought in surprise. She asked him, What have you done in the past week, Li Xiulai? Li Xiulai paused, thought carefully, and then replied, I smashed Zheng Shuili's plans, cleared Professor Guo's name, went to the square outside the school to practice Tai Chi with the elderly, and did some research on the commercial promotion of square dancing. He added, I haven't really done anything extraordinary, except help someone in need when I saw injustice. I practice Tai Chi every morning and occasionally participate in square dancing. The rest is just routine practice as arranged by my master. Reflecting on his week, Li Xiulai thought to himself, Zhang Shuili's situation took up too much of my time. I didn't even have time to expand my business this week. 
Lin Shuhuan, impressed by Li Xulai's progress, thought to herself, this boy truly is a genius in cultivation. She then told him, Li Xulai, come with me, before turning to Xiao Ning. Xiao Ning, please wait outside for a moment. Xiao Ning nodded in agreement, but as she watched Li Xulai walk away, her thoughts churned. Ma Xiao Ning, stop being so sentimental. Just leave it be. You don't even like Li Xulai, right? Why are you feeling so jealous? As Li Xulai followed Lin Shuhuan into the depths of Qingyun Temple, he was taken aback. There's an entirely different world beneath this small Qingfeng temple, he thought, marveling at the hidden chambers and spiritual aura that surrounded him. Once inside, Lin Shuhuan turned to him and said, Take off all your clothes. Shocked, Li Xulai stumbled back, exclaiming, Isn't this inappropriate? He hesitated, nervously adding, Master, I don't have time or the budget to fall in love in this lifetime, but if you insist on taking advantage of me, I... You are my master, after all. His face turned red as he stammered, But I only respect you as my teacher. Lin Shuhuan, irritated by his awkwardness, shouted, When I tell you to take something off, just do it. Why are you being so shy? I want to immerse you in the spring. You don't have to undress yourself. Just follow my instructions. He's so awkward, Lin Shuhuan thought to herself. Why am I the one feeling embarrassed? Reluctantly, Li Xulai agreed, saying, All right, all right, I'll take it off right away. Yet, Internally, he worried. Do I really want to be so honest with a master I've only met twice? His thoughts spiraled. Does this sect specialize in taking yin to replenish yang? As Li Xulai continued to hesitate, taking far too long to undress, Lin Xuhuan's patience ran out. Furious, she grabbed him, lifted him into the air, and with one swift motion, removed all his clothes, throwing him into the hot spring. Startled, Li Xulai shouted, Master, you can't just do that! He thought, where are your moral principles? I was only a little slow in undressing. Why are you so impatient? But before he could protest further, something incredible happened. As his body made contact with the hot spring water, he felt a sudden surge of spiritual energy. His cultivation level began to rapidly improve, and the sensation left him astonished. It's as if my entire body feels smooth, like every meridian is absorbing the spiritual energy from the water on its own. This is amazing. Master, he asked, eyes wide with surprise. What is this spring water? Lin Shuhuan, now more composed, explained, This is the Ningxian pool. It can cleanse your body and significantly enhance your cultivation. As she spoke, Lin Shuhuan felt a sudden wave of embarrassment wash over her. Her eyes inadvertently drifted to Li Xulai's body, and she couldn't help but think, Cleansing the soul. My foot. She blushed, quickly looking away. Suddenly, Li Xulai looked up at the pool and asked, why is it so cloudy and sunny all at once? Lin Shuhuan, unable to hide the embarrassment on her face, stood up abruptly and began to leave. Li Xulai, confused, didn't know what was going on. Why am I acting so strange today? Lin Shuhuan wondered. I've brought disciples to the Ningxian pond before, but something feels different with Li Xulai, even though he is my apprentice. Her face flushed, her heart raced, and she felt an unfamiliar surge of emotions. But I've only met him twice! I barely know him. Realizing something was wrong, she thought, when things are abnormal, there must be a reason, and it's related to Li Xulai. I must explore and study this carefully. Determined, she turned back, still feeling flustered. Li Xulai, observing from a distance, thought, why is Master acting so strangely? But he decided to let it go. In the cultivation novels I've read, Masters always have odd habits that ordinary people wouldn't understand. It's better not to ask too many questions and create trouble for myself. Shaking off the confusion, Li Xulai shifted his focus to cultivation, sitting cross-legged and adjusting his breathing to absorb the spiritual energy from the Ningxian pool. Lin Shuhuan, now calm, observed him from a distance. As a master, I can't let my emotions get the better of me. I need to remain composed. She settled herself peacefully, picking up a book to read. Even among modern immortal cultivators, I, as the master of Qingfeng Temple, am regarded as a genius, yet I have only reached the sixth level. But I have this feeling. Perhaps this young man, Li Xulai, will bring significant changes to the world of cultivation. Meanwhile, Li Xulai delved deeper into his cultivation. A golden aura began to emanate from his body, and he suddenly felt a wave of heat wash over him, his skin starting to sweat. This is odd. The Ningxian pool is clearly a cold spring. So why do I feel so hot? He wondered. But he reassured himself. Master is here. If something is wrong, she'll warn me. This must be a normal phenomenon. I'll keep pushing forward. As he continued, the golden aura spread across the room, 
intensifying. Lin Shuhuan, who had been enjoying her tea in peace, suddenly inhaled the aura. Shocked, her teacup slipped from her hand, shattering on the ground. Her entire body began trembling, and an intense heat surged through her. What is this strange sensation? Why do I feel so hot? The golden aura leaked out of the room, spreading throughout Qingyun Temple. Outside, Xiao Ning, who was reading cultivation techniques, noticed the change in the air. What's that smell? It's sweet. As she inhaled the golden aura, her body collapsed to the ground, trembling uncontrollably. Her body temperature skyrocketed, and she found herself unable to stop touching her own body, as if losing control. Back inside, Lin Xuhuan managed to regain her composure. There's something wrong with the air. She looked over at Li Xulai, whose cultivation had reached a critical point. Could this be the long yang qi emanating from him? Acting quickly, Lin Xuhuan used her cultivation technique to summon water, washing it over Li Xulai's body to stabilize the imbalance. After careful examination, she realized the cause of the disturbance. So that's what it is. Because of his cultivation in the Ningxian pool, his yang qi is leaking out, creating an imbalance of yin and yang in this space. Blushing furiously, Lin Xuhuan thought, this boy has such a strong yang energy. He possesses a rare dragon yang body. If you're not careful, this yang qi can invade your body. As his master, how could I let such improper thoughts cross my mind? Calm down. Stay composed. Suddenly, Lin Shuhuan noticed that Li Xulai's yang qi was leaking out of the Ningxian pool. A sudden realization hit her. Xiao Ning is still outside. Panicked, she thought, I can resist it and stay conscious. But Xiao Ning's cultivation is still shallow. He won't be able to handle this. Without a second thought, Lin Shuhuan rushed outside, forgetting about Li Xulai for the moment. As she opened the door and stepped outside, she was shocked to find Xiao Ning lying on the ground, drenched in sweat. Her cheeks were flushed red, and she didn't even have the strength to get up. The smell of Yang Qi outside was already faint, but Xiao Ning still succumbed to it, Lin Shuhuan thought. Concerned, she quickly used the same technique she had applied to Li Xulai, wiping away the excess Yang Qi from Xiao Ning's body. As soon as she finished, Xiao Ning fell into a deep sleep. Lin Shuhuan, now feeling exhausted from using the technique, began to feel the effects of Li Xulai's potent Yang energy entering her own body. Li Xulai's Yang Qi is too strong. Even I'm struggling to resist it. Meanwhile, inside, Li Xulai completed his cultivation and noticed that his master wasn't there. Where's master, he wondered. However, excitement quickly overtook him. After sitting cross-legged and regulating my breathing for a whole day, my back and waist are a little sore. Time for the eighth set of radio gymnastics. As he stretched and moved, he noticed something peculiar. It feels like a barrier in my body has been broken. Is this the feeling of breaking through a realm? He then realized that not only had his cultivation improved, but his five senses had become sharper as well. As he was absorbed in examining his progress, Lin Shuhuan approached him. Her expression mixed. She congratulated him. You've broken through the first realm and entered the foundation building stage. This is a major step in your cultivation journey. Li Xulai glanced at Lin Xuhuan and noticed her flushed face. Confused, he wondered, why is Master's face so red? But he quickly dismissed the thought, returning his attention to his cultivation. Lin Xuhuan continued, Building a foundation is a crucial turning point for practitioners. It marks the first step from a mortal to an immortal. A cultivator absorbs the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, accumulating it in their body. When enough energy is gathered, it transforms, allowing the practitioner to enter the foundation building stage. If this process fails, the spiritual energy can backfire, damaging the meridians and even threatening one's life. But if successful, the meridians become stronger, capable of holding more spiritual energy, and the Dantian is reconstructed. It's a true qualitative leap. Li Xulai nodded in understanding. No wonder I felt a qualitative difference as soon as I broke through today, he replied. Lin Xuhuan, still keeping her composure, said, I'll cleanse your body today, and the formal teachings will begin tomorrow. For now, feel the changes in your spiritual energy. Oh, and please, put on some clothes. As Li Xulai stood up to get dressed, his lower body started glowing with a faint sparkle. Embarrassed, he quickly covered himself and apologized. Master, I was too excited just now. Lin Xuhuan, not even looking at him, walked away deep in thought. I originally intended for him to soak in the hot springs just to aid his practice, but he ended up breaking through a major realm. So many talented cultivators in the world need foundation-building pills to condense their spiritual energy and establish their Dantian. 
I soaked in the Ningxian pool for seven days before I even felt my mind loosen up. And it takes most people at least a year to begin their cultivation journey after discovering they have potential. But him? My junior brother even mentioned he had never received professional training. As these thoughts swirled in her mind, Lin Xuhuan couldn't help but laugh aloud, a laugh filled with both disbelief and amazement. I've found a true genius, someone who's effortlessly excelled in every aspect of life. Her laughter echoed through the temple, startling Li Xulai, who couldn't help but think the truly powerful are indeed all crazy. Before we end today's video, I want to give a big shout out to Ray for becoming a channel member. Your support is helping us grow and create even more amazing content. We're thrilled to have you with us, and there's so much exciting stuff ahead. Thanks for being part of the community.